Hello and welcome. Today we have Inspiron uh, 15 5558. Uh, this is an older model and the older 5000 series, uh, more than usual, they have a power button problem. Uh, this laptop's problem is pushed in power button, so this could be uh, damage done by the user, but can also be due to not really good uh, manufacturing quality of the power button on the model itself. So let's open up this laptop and let's see if the power button is working and maybe the plastic cap, the top side of the power button uh, is stuck or broken or faulty, or maybe uh, the laptop needs a complete change of the power button inside and maybe even the plastic bit. Okay, let's start. We will need to remove the hard disk. The next step is to remove the keyboard as some of the screws are beneath the keyboard. This here is the power button cable. We need to get the access to our power button, so this is why I need to remove the screws from the left hinge and open it up. So 
So as I said, this is our power button here. And actually this small thing here is the button itself. The plastic cover, we can check it. It was stuck. But let me first unscrew the right hinge as well. So we don't break anything while opening the laptop as the left screw, uh, as the left hinge is unscrewed. Okay, so. All right, that's good. So I can check the button now and the button moves. It's flexible, it is okay. The problem on these laptops, on this series, is this button gets stuck. And by using this prying tool, I can press it many, 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 many times. And that kind of gets it going again. Now, to check if the power button, button itself is working, I have to lift this up. I plug the PSU in and I would need to press the button here. So with this Okay, and the laptop is powering on, which is excellent. So the power button works. The plastic is not broken or stiff. It's flexible. There is a small workaround that we can do to make this thing work again. So stay tuned. First, I'm going to use some connector uh, cleaner to clean the button. So if there is any dust in there that stops it from uh, being pushed in and out, we can clean it with this. And then I will do some of some more clicking and now it looks like the button clicks much, much easier. Okay, so first I will just put everything as it was and try the laptop to see if it powers on. If not, there is another solution to it. Okay, so... No, not really. Okay, so obviously due to the time wear, this button, even if everything looks okay, it's not working okay. The plastic here obviously has changed its form or shape a bit and it's not really hitting the button as it should. There is a small workaround that I mentioned and I will proceed with it. What I usually uh, use in this case is this engineering adhesive that you put on screws and bolts. So this is like what you have on this screw here. This blue, the uh, remains of blue plastic, this is the, the same thing. So I will take a little bit of it
and I will put a small amount to this small cross here which shows us where the button goes beneath okay that's about enough and then because this plastic on its own like this like a very small blob it needs a lot of time uh, to dry so I will use some super glue on top of it to make it dry faster and also to add a, another layer on top of it and make, make it a little bit thicker okay some more of this stuff and now it's time for super glue Okay. I think I've put a little bit too much, so I will try to remove some of it. Okay, then I will leave it for some time to dry and then I will get back to you guys as soon as that button is dry and as soon as I will be able to put back the power button. Okay, so sit back. Okay, after an hour the super glue and the adhesive have completely dried, so it's time for us to try the power button now. Okay. Okay. This is great. Now we can power on and power off with this button to the laptop. Okay, let's try powering off. Perfect. Actually now this power button works like new. So with a little bit of work around, you don't need to chase the new part. You just need a little bit of uh, this blue uh, engineering adhesive for screws and bolts and a bit of super glue. Okay, just to try it one more time so that we see it wasn't accidental. So again, I'm pressing it. Okay, a little bit harder now. Yeah, it's on. Usually it needs a little bit of more push, but it will work every time. Okay, power off. And just to wait a couple of seconds and do it one more time. Okay, it's on. Excellent. And it's off. Okay. So let's put everything back together and let's try laptop one more time when it is completely assembled.
Okay, and to try it for the one last time. Thank you for watching and see you next time.